I'm Ryan Woods, and this is a show of paintings and drawings at the Green Artery, which is a house on Rogers Street that's also the house of Aaron Toby and Jeff Grant. Yeah, we're having the opening tonight for the show, and it's getting started now. So the show is called Men and Beasts, and it's a lot of the a lot of the figures that are in the paintings that are kind of like, uh, in, in many cases, you know, it's usually like a human figure and a non-human figure. It's somewhat the relationship between them, and also maybe having to do with just like the nature of some of the you know human figures that are in the paintings as well. The whole idea of like the two figures being together um, started with this painting that I made in. There was a screenplay um, called called Bent. In concentration camps, there's these two men who fall in love with each other, but they can't express this in any ways. So they have to just like, you know, express this from from great distance without ever like touching each other or being around each other and with the like tension of the distance between them. So the first one of those things that I made was just these two characters, you know, and their kind of like communication with each other. And so I think all the ones since then are just like some kind of variation off of that and maybe less serious or more, you know, serious for different reasons. There's a painting called Forgiveness and I think, you know, I, it's kind of a silly painting and I think that I, in a lot of ways, like I started with this character that was like this big fluffy bunny character and um, I was painting this woman next to him and it just didn't seem right because the relationship that they had seemed too like sinister or something like that like this like big man bunny thing was like you know looking at this this woman so it kind of became this this old this old older woman and it got painted that way and I think I like the relationship between the old woman and the bunny because I feel like she's kind of um, forgiving him for his like giant man pink bunny costume I don't know that I always know a really specific thing and I don't think I would be offended or you know or it's not my intention that people would get the same thing from it that I get from it. The drawings are just uh, they're ink on paper and they're from sketchbooks that I had and I never really intended them to be taken out of the sketchbooks or anything like that. But I think for me, since I'm like on tour playing music a lot, um, it's a way to work on artwork. Like my way of making paintings is very formal and I have to have all these materials and all this stuff. And I really never thought of myself as much of a, of a person that does a lot of drawing. But over the years, I think it's, it's a way of me like working on things um, when I'm away from home. Well, I guess a lot of the a lot of the images that are in the drawings are like the motifs or the little figures. You know, they're things like corpses, they're things like ghosts, they're things like you know little, um, yeah, little creatures. And I think that like they're not the most positive things, but when they're put together in this kind of thing, it's more decorative. And so I, I like that they become kind of like these like pretty happy, positive kind of scenes, or you know, like they're they're kind of cute even though they're like these like corpses or things like that so I brought a lot of print or a couple of different prints um, that could be a little bit cheaper and I also brought um, this short story that I wrote recently called Marcel and Marcel the character actually kind of becomes like a motif in a lot of the drawings and paintings so I don't know it's a, it's a kind of way you know talking earlier about like the narrative that I have going on about the things it's maybe a way to at least <laughs> you know, have a more specific, you know, if, if someone reads this story, they might have a more specific uh, idea of what I was doing in the drawing of the painting. And it's kind of interesting to me to be able to put some words to my ideas. This is the second show we've had here at our house, and the first one was just my own art a couple months ago, and so we're, we haven't really done too much of this style of function. Um, the fortune is just that we have a house that is big enough to have an event like this and we have a really large front room that has really high ceilings that 
kind of lends itself to viewing and you know just exhibiting art. It's a way to bring the ex the art experience or the experience of viewing art out of a traditional gallery setting just into a more intimate setting and making it obvious that you know you don't have to be in a very specific kind of you know established gallery setting in order to experience art. It's really cool that like Paper Crane opened in town um, but with the art hospital closing there aren't a lot of options for gallery things and I guess even with the art hospital it was a house space. Um, I think it just works well for Bloomington. I don't know if it's so much a choice it's like you know I feel fortunate that you know Aaron and Jeff asked me to do it at the house but um, I think you know I f it feels a lot more comfortable to have friends over just to a friend's house than uh, a more formal gallery setting. The idea is that it'll become more frequent or that it'll become something that we do regularly and so I guess I approach Ryan because we've been friends for a long time and I like his art, I think he's a great painter and otherwise a great artist and I I mean it's kind of an easy step to talk to your friends first about getting this kind of thing going which I feel totally fine about and so I, yeah just the idea of having a kind of a venue like this that a non-traditional venue that can kind of regularly maintain, you know, have openings just like the Sofa Gallery at IU does, or, you know, maybe it won't be as consistent as all that, but that's what it maybe would strive to achieve.